What is up fellow troublemakers? My name is Moultrie and I'm here to give you a rundown on the most awesome stuff made this past week. Starting from the top, Mark Rober gives us an awesome, ginormous 15 ton jello swimming pool. Which if he wasn't before, he certainly wins the coolest uncle award. Also, NASA announces that we're going they don't say back, but back to the moon by 2024, and this time to stay, which is crazy. That's like one, two, three, five years from now. I don't know that I would go to stay, I would go to visit, but what about you? Would you go? Let me know in the comments below, I'm curious. And then googly eyes. Devin with Make Anything gave us 3D printable googly eyes. Well, I'm skeptical of most things I see on the internet, especially 3D printed things. Like, they don't normally work as well as people make them out to, but these totally work. I mean, Devin did an awesome job with them. And if you want to 3D print your own, there's a link in the doobly doo below. On the video page of the doobly doo is down there. To Devin's video where you can download the files and make your own 3D printable googly eyes. They're super awesome. Then we saw this self solving Rubik's Cube at Maker Faire. Check out Tested's video if you want to see exactly how it works. Gear Down for What made a wicked fast Segway looking RC car. Flight Test drops a watermelon out of an RC plane. Prusa comes out with a new Prusa slicer, which Joe calls it's simplified 3D killer. In a couple of months. It's gonna be a killer in a couple of months. Not a killer right now. The king of random. Four Eyes Woodworking makes an incredible Nintendo Switch Entertainment Center and talks about being yourself, which if you haven't seen any of the Four Eyes Woodworking videos, I totally recommend you check them out. Every time I watch one of them, it makes me feel like a better person. Again, link below. Tom Scott shows us an awesome man-made crop circle that you can actually see from space. Arduino announces several new lightweight, low-cost boards that might just be feather killers. A giant rock makes a cannonball. And a small herd of brontosauruses. Brontosauri or is it brontosauruses? I don't know. I don't know these things. Who knows? Is it brontosauri or brontosauruses? This week's hilariousness award has to go to Dude Perfect where they put the dog turd in the smelling machine. I can't describe it. You just have to go watch it. I promise you won't regret it. Sprite's Machines makes a sick contraption to celebrate 100,000 subs. Lastly, my challenge for you is to see how many water drops you can stack on top of a penny. And then, is there anything that you can add to the water to get more drops to stack? If you do this, add tag me and let me know. Oh, and if you don't have a dropper, just stab a hole in the top of a water bottle. It'll work just the same. And if I missed anything this past week, let me know in the comments below. And to make sure you don't miss out on next week, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell, or is it smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I don't know, do both, and then tune in this time next week where we give you the roundup again. And then if you see something this upcoming week that you think belongs in this video, let me know. Send me an email at rumble at rumblelab.com. Till next time, see ya.